Welcome to Potato Land, everybody. This April Fool's update has added some of the greatest things ever to be added to Minecraft. And I have been having fun with the new floater block. This is the first time trying to fly an entire ship. Here we go. Whoa! That's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. Here we go. And... Smack. Crash. That was glorious. Alright, let's try this again with a little more open space. Oh, we're cruising. We're going so fast. Look at me atop my mighty ship. I can't grapple to a moving vehicle, no. Come back. Yo, they should totally add this to real Minecraft. This would change the game so much. If only I could change direction. They changed the entire thing into one single entity. Like, there's no block anything. Nothing can be opened. It's, it's quite laggy, honestly. Look at the corrupted forest. I love it. Oh, I was able to stop it. I just had to set one block in the air to dirt. I want it to go faster. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. We're going so fast. Oh my gosh, but can we go faster, though? Oh no. We crashed into a tree. Can I add more, though? Oh my gosh, the speed. I think we're going to crash in more ways than one. This is like ice boat speed. We're going so fast. Oh my gosh, a block didn't stop it. I can't stop. It just glitches it out for a second, and then, oh my gosh. What is going on? Please stop. I don't know if I can stop it anymore. It's too strong. Oh, we hit another tree. Thank goodness we've stopped. I fear once I start on this path, there will be no stopping unless we run into something again. I've added more. In total, we have, I think, 43 is the number I counted. Oh, it doesn't even work. It just breaks. We can't go that fast. Okay, we're going again. We're going. We'll have to figure out what went wrong later. And by later, I mean next time we hit something. This dimension is so beautiful. I love it. They really need to add something like this to real Minecraft. I want to go faster. Will it work? Oh my gosh. Oh no. We left several behind, but we got more? I don't think we're actually going faster. Oh gosh. It's gone. Using commands, I can get ahead of it. Oh, I'm getting pushed. Guys, I'm getting pushed. I don't think this is intended. There's no way I can get up above it. And when I say that, I mean there is totally a way. We made it. Hey, there's another ship. That one looked pretty nice. We should grab that one and join our, uh, to our fleet. The annoying thing is ice boats are still faster. I find it hard to believe that a silly tiny little boat can outpace this. Oh my gosh, we left some behind. I, I think we've reached maximum velocity. And I think it's time for my final addition. I can't allow the ship to stop anymore. Up there, there's a block. We're going higher. Oh my gosh. This is actually so cool. The entire ship is just rising. Think about the implications this would mean for normal Minecraft. You could move builds so much easier. Look at how cool this ship looks. Oh gosh. It, it, it activated the other floaters. These things are so buggy. Oh gosh. We're going fast now. I don't know how this works. I think it's because I didn't turn off the lever. That stone block hit and went boom into the wall. We've traveled 17,000 blocks and we've been going at this for like... 15 minutes. I could just leave this running and walk away and I'd come back and I'd be like at the edge of the world, the world border before too long. Look at the particles from me running. Look at them jump backwards. Everything is going so fast that the particles from me running just fly away. I can literally make people eat my dust. Look at this. Oh no. Oh no, I tried to use an elytra. What would happen if I made a massive wall in front of the ship? Oh my gosh, it just pushed it. What? No way. Okay, now I'm getting pushed along in front of this wall. Let's do it again. Oh, we stopped it this time. My final gift to this ship will be a trip to the sky. To the top of the world. To build height. Yo, they have the old build height on this world? That's so weird. We're going up. And we're going forward. Oh my gosh. That is not what that was supposed to do. Guys, my ship just got smashed. It just kept pushing it up into the build height until it removed the redstone powering them. Okay, we may have lost our masts. We may have lost the front of the ship, but but that's okay. We'll be fine. We'll make it. We got this. One final trip. Whee! What more could a ship want? The potato sun sets in the background. Unfortunately, all good things in life must come to an end. And sometimes, you just have to let go. Goodbye, my friend.
I want to make missiles. Okay, first thing we need to do is test how redstone works when I activate it. For example, does this TNT go off right away? Okay, we get no response from the redstone repeaters, but I believe it'll activate as soon as it gets there. Oh, it works. We can make targeted missiles in Minecraft. First thing we need to work on is speed. We need a lot more speed. Next, we need to work on the explosion because that was not big enough. Also, we have to test if TNT minecarts even go on these things. That'll be a big important thing. So let's test the prototype missile. TNT minecarts appear to go. Okay, what happens when it reaches though? Let's see how this works. Oh! It didn't work very well. I feared that might happen. We might have to work on the delivery system. Two? No explosion. Because all I need is one explosion to make this work. If I could get one explosion to happen on impact, then we're fine. Ah! It worked! It worked! Hold on, hold on, hold on. We might be able to make this happen. Let's try it. Explosion on impact. Let's go! Three is the perfect number. Because as long as we get an instant explosion, then we don't have to wait for TNT to buffer. Now we can add as much TNT as we want. As long as we don't put it in a place where it will get activated by this lever, we'll be fine. Though if it activates immediately, then I don't really care. It'll just drop right here and it'll be fine. Okay, let's see how this works. Ho oh. <laughs> ho! That was awesome! Also, I just discovered something from that. Let's try something new. Let's see if this works. Guys, I think we just invented bombers in Minecraft. <laughs> That's awesome! That's so good. Somehow the momentum gets transferred into the TNT as you activate it. I think I prefer the TNT missile method though. It's definitely easier to implement uh, without having to worry about aiming. And so I think that's the one that I'm going to stick with trying to perfect. As far as I know, floaters don't have a maximum block limit. They just have like a block distance. So they can only push blocks within a certain distance of them. I think that's a 30 block distance. So you could push a lot. But at the same time, I'm not quite sure how it all works. So we'll see how well this missile works. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Of course, the other option we can do is we can go outward because by building forward, we're making it so our initial impact is further from the blocks we want to destroy. But of course, this also makes it wider. So we're going to hit uh, impact and stopping point sooner. So I don't want to make it too wide, but I can also make it taller, which shouldn't have much of a problem when we're going into a mountain like this. Oh, this just looks beautiful. And it works. Kablam. Woohoo! That worked pretty well. I think that's the best one we've had so far. Okay, the next thing I want to do is make it rapid fire. Judging by the fact that the entire thing gets destroyed upon impact, I don't need to worry about any leftover remains getting in the way of our next target. So as long as I time it properly, I should be able to get this to fire pretty regularly. Okay, clone command works great. That is almost, that, that works exactly where I want it to be. I need to summon three minecart TNTs right here. I'm just worried about that this won't go off. Let's see. Excellent, it works just fine. Oh no. Why did it do that? Okay, so we've got the missile back in place. And then the last step, once we have all the minecarts in place, is to set the lever to a redstone block. Off. There it goes. Kaboom. Now this should make another one with no problems. There we go. Oh yeah. The great thing is because floating machines become entities, they don't get damaged by TNT explosions at all. Okay, all I gotta do now is set this up to a timer. Okay. I think I got the time just right. Oh, but the TNT might be able to blow up the TNT mine. Yeah, I can blow up the TNT minecarts of the of the next one. We got to put a longer delay. Okay, here we go. Missile. Missile. They just keep on coming. This is great. Oh, we're about to go past this. We're going to make it past. This should be the last one. Oh, maybe one more. Oh, it took the blocks with it. 
It's not supposed to be able to do that. Okay, this is going to get really bad really fast. We're going to have too many floating machines. The lag is already increasing. We just blew straight through the mountain. I have now modified all the command blocks so that they activate and spawn the thing in relation to where they are. So I can simply move the command blocks and then get the thing to appear wherever I want to. This means I can just throw it down and start blasting away at any set of mountains I want. And now we should be able to just push through any mountain that gets in our way. Here they come. Oh, it's so good. And they made it through, just like that. Oh, and there's already like five more coming. <laughs> Look at this hole we punched through in like a minute. Okay, the last question I have that I want to end this episode with is what happens if two of these things run into each other? Okay, when I power this, these two should both run into each other at the exact same time. Oh my gosh, they just went through each other. What the heck? That's so funny. Okay, I'm going to make a flying machine that will run straight into this thing, but they're, go they're just going to both go through each other, probably. Now, these two machines should come right into each other. Here they go. And they just fly right through each other. That's so weird. Oh, that's crazy. I hope you all enjoyed this special potato episode. It was a lot of fun. I haven't had this much fun playing Minecraft in quite a while. I do hope some of these things end up in the real game because they are just so much fun to rest mess around with. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!